Hello, I would like to show you the NetImage C2 Pan R package. And it's an R package to call the original tool with exactly the same name, well, except that my package has lowercase spelling, which is recommended in R. So NetImage, uh, NetImage C2 Pan is a, a server that predicts the binding of epitopes to image C class 2 molecules. And there's a nice web form and it's uh, very easy to use. But let's say you want something different and you want to run it locally. There is a full, uh, there's a page here, a download page, where you can request a download to run this program locally. The goal of this package, of my package, is to download the file, um, install it and being able to call it from R. And I will show you how this looks like. So I go to the NetImage C2 pan package and there's a vignette called demo. And if I run it the first time, it will crash. Ooh, uh, it doesn't crash because apparently it's installed. Um, but let's kill it now. So if I run it without the installation, it will give me uh, an error message. You can read it, but it's not very important for now. It says you need to install it. All right, let's do so. So I'm going to call the function install net mg 2 pan, which is um, very, uh, well, what you would hope for it to be as easy as possible. But if you take a look at where to download at MHC2 Panda original tool, you need to request a download link. Like you need to state also that you're not going to use it for commercial purposes. And then you get a temporary download link. So here's an email that I got. And this download link will be valid for the next four hours. So that's a bit of a nuisance because then I need to specify it um, when I install my work. What I like to do is uh, if I go to the package, there's a function called get netmhc 2 pan URL. I put in uh, the URL I got by email and then I can do so then I can simply call install netmhc 2 pan. I run that. It's installing everything now, also setting things up, it does some multiple things in the back end. So not only does it install NetMHC2 pan, but also uh, there's a lot of data and uh, it sets up Perl and uh, other stuff. And when I now knit my vignette, you can see what it does. I'm going to open it in the browser for you. So it, installation works. So I'm going to supply it with a faster file now with a proteome. It, um, it looks like this. This is the, the sequence name. This is a very short uh, protein sequence. And for NetMHC2 pan, we also need uh, an allele. And there are a lot of alleles it supports, uh, more than 5,000 at the moment. And in this example, we're going to only use the first two. Then we're going to run it on that faster file name for my alleles. Then I get all the bindings. And here it displays this in a uh, table. It was a data frame, which is the position um, of the on the, the the protein sequence. The peptide that was there, the ID of the of the of the the sequence, the gene, uh, the allele it binds to. So I picked two. So here's the first. Here's the second. Uh, this thing, this thing, and the rank. The rank is the most important thing in my context so the lower the value the stronger it binds so this is the strongest binder at the moment so i've showed you how uh, netimage c2 pan works hardest part will be to install it because the download link expires so i cannot automate that for you so but nevertheless i hope you enjoy this package and i wish you a very nice day bye